they've made movies about going to the center of the earth for a long time, but the reality is this is a no-go zone. It is too hot. There's too much pressure. It's full of molten rock. So we have to use the outside of the earth using seismometers and detection to try and figure out what's going on inside here and draw pictures of what we think it looks like in our part of the world. Most volcanic eruptions, magnitude 9 earthquakes, even devastating tsunamis. These three major natural disasters we face here in Washington all have something in common. They are all because we have a subduction zone where plates of the Earth's crust collide. From the, the dark blue into the dark red, how uh, we've progressed from Vancouver Island into, you know, down towards Olympia. And since May 2nd, a deep tremor lasting for weeks as scientists, including Brendan Crowell, watching closely. Seismometers can detect what we cannot feel as the quake has moved south more than 30 miles down. And while it seems harmless, does it tell us something about earthquakes closer to the surface? Um, you know, how much strain is being released in, in these types of events? Does it change the earthquake cycle? You know, are we more likely or less likely to get a big earthquake because of this? Those types of questions are, are really driving uh, this research. Subduction and, begins as a crustal plate making up the ocean floor is pushed underneath North America. Near the surface, the plates are locked together. But when they slip, as they would in a magnitude 9 earthquake, the ocean floor slides deeper and the energy is sent into the ocean, triggering a tsunami. So what's happening with these deep tremors and these silent earthquakes is much further down. One theory is that much further down, that subducting plate is more like taffy, and it's slowly being stretched which means these earthquakes can last for weeks. Over the past several years, what I've seen is the scientific community, the earth science community, has been uh, uh, coalescing around the notion of a subduction zone observatory. Paul Bowden is the interim director of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, and such an observatory would try to figure out just what goes on down there. So that we can better understand the processes that underlie the hazard. Now another theory on these deep tremors is that under heat and pressure, water and liquids are literally being forced out of the rock, sort of greasing this whole process. Meanwhile, in Japan, they're drilling, trying to pull up some real answers as to what's going down in their subduction zone. Cool. So, Glenn, what would an observatory look like? Well, we don't know yet. I mean, mm -hmm. this has been getting kicked around in scientific circles. I mean, maybe the University of Washington could be the center of that kind of thing. Maybe there would be multiple sites. But the subduction zone is up here. Remember, it starts at Cape Mendocino, California, goes up past Oregon, Washington, parts of Northern California, all the way up off, off Vancouver Island. Wow. So what exactly is Japan doing that might be different from well, what we're well, doing? Part of it is this drilling process which has been going on, and they're actually talking to scientists over there. They're hoping to recruit scientists who've been doing this kind of work because that really, on uh, this whole thing, really underlies. People go, well, the volcano connection, I don't quite get that. Well, is that plunges down, that's where magma gets up, that's where you get, uh, you can actually melt rock in that process. But again, no elevators going down there, so if you don't really know, we'd like to know a lot more. Wow, interesting. Thank you, Glenn. And this has been going on since May 8th. And you can see there are hundreds of deep, deep tremors that aren't felt, but the activity is still there and it's still per persisting as I do this video. And you can see that's a lot of tremors. This is the latest snapshot I just took from my app and it was trending downward and uh, was actually right around 800. And over the last 36 hours, it's gone up to almost 1200. So the quakes are increasing near the volcano, near the summit of Kilauea. So a lot of activity there. What they're talking about here near uh, Washington, actually in Washington, um, is just more evidence that Earth overall, we're going through some Earth changes right now. What's going on out in Hawaii is absolutely unprecedented and more than likely from what I understand, it, it looks like that they're going to have to evacuate out in Hawaii 
sooner uh, rather than later. This is kind of the way things are looking. But I found this kind of interesting. What's going on up in Washington State with the deep tremors that you can see are by the hundreds. And this is close to the Cascadia subduction zone. And like they said in the video, um, if that ever does go, which they're still learning about all of this, they don't know, they don't have all the answers, that they think it would produce a uh, magnitude 9 that would, of course, generate a large tsunami. But just interesting information I'm just passing along. That's right here, state of Washington. We've got all these quakes. I mean, thousands of earthquakes out here in Hawaii. This is the last seven days. It's almost back up to 1,200 again. And this has been like this now for over two weeks, three weeks. Uh, unbelievable amount of earthquakes on the big island of Hawaii. So now we're seeing deep, deep tremors in Washington by the hundreds. So you got to keep in mind, guys, what we talked about several weeks ago. In fact, back at the first of the year, Earth is moving into a very unique position here in the next few weeks, a position I've not seen, um, and I'm not sure how often this ever happens, but I can tell you this, it's very, very rare. There's 360 degrees up here for all these planets to kind of roam around and stretch and, and um, you know, have their own space. But we are going to see all the planets on the right side of the sun here in just a few weeks. In fact, we're getting close. So that has to have an effect on the planets, the energy that these planets kind of share. They do share a common bond, the sun. If they didn't, they wouldn't be here. So there is energy at play here when it's spread out over the 360 degree radius, then, you know, things are, I think, what we would, you know, consider normal. I don't think things are, something has to change with all of these planetary bodies sharing 180 degrees. Something has to change, bottom line. And I think we're already seeing signs of that change. And just, just a few things, you know, uh, beached whales in New Zealand, the ongoing situation in Hawaii where it looks like they may have to evacuate the entire island. Earthquakes by the thousands here lately. High UV. We've been seeing UV readings up over 14 in places. In fact, we saw 14 today. So just a heads up, guys. Uh, a lot of things going on. Documenting some different things that we keep track of here at the website. Mr. MBB333.com Um Interesting article here, a lot of action near Seattle, which isn't far from the Cascadia subduction zone. So anytime we see a lot of activity there, we definitely pay close attention to it. So links down below in the description box. And this is one of the networks that I follow, the Pacific Seismic Network, the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. And that's the one they referred to in that video. And... A lot of activity up here right now guys so just something else to watch and i think personally that it's part of the planetary position we're moving around into uncharted waters all of the planets including pluto we're going to be sharing one side of the sun and we've got two sides to share but we're all going to be bunched up over here on one side so it has to have some sort of an effect even if it's if it's minor but here lately, we've been seeing a lot of things pick up with the weather, with earthquakes, with volcanoes. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if uh, we don't see more. I have to have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.